Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing my 2020 stats video. It's a little bit late, but I hope you enjoy stats because I have a lot. So I'm just going to kick off straight into the sort of easy Goodreads ones that we all know about. So I read 138 books in 2020. My page count, according to Goodreads, was 35,854. And the average length was about 260 pages. Makes sense, I read quite a lot of graphic novels, so that brings the sort of average length down, which I'm not mad at, that's cool. Talking about length, the shortest book I read was Deadly Class Killer Set. This was a little free comic book thing from the free comic book day. And then the longest book I read at 870 pages was Queen of Our Darkness by Cassandra Clare. Spoiler alert, it definitely didn't need to be that long because it went on because like nothing happened in the first 200 pages. But anyway, let's move on. My average rating was 3.9, which is great. It's always a roundabout there. I give out mostly four stars. I know pretty much what sort of books I like reading. So four stars is generally what I give out. 3.9, good average. So here's an interesting one. The most popular book I read was The Raven Boys by Maggie C. Butter. This has 671,320 rates or whatever on goodreads at the time i wrote it down it might be more now but i thought this one was interesting because the past five years i mean i'll read them out from 2019 downwards it was like five million something five million something four million something eight million something two million and something and then this year was like six hundred and seventy thousand. so not as popular as a lot of the other books that were my most popular in previous years i just thought that was quite interesting i read a lot of random shit and then my least popular read was Fragile Planet, which has two ratings. That's me and somebody else. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the fun stuff. The stats, the charts, the all the good stuff. Yes. Here are my star ratings. I've never rated anything one star. That still is the case in 2020 and 2021. So my lowest is 2.5. And for that, I read four books that were 2.5. 16 that were three stars. 28 that were 3.5 this is the first year that i've put 0.5s in as well because i had my own spreadsheet rather than just going on what goodreads says so yeah 3.5 57 at four stars like i said earlier definitely what i give out the most 15 at 4.5 and 17 at five stars and if you're really good at counting or if you put any effort into counting you'll see that that is one less than the books i read and that's because one book i didn't rate i just left it unrated it was a kids book i didn't feel like i could rate it it was just kind of there i read it i was like well it exists so yeah one unrated book as well which i did try and put on there but it, it, it squished too closely to the 2.5 so i just took it off so 115 of the books that i read i read physically and 23 i read on ebook i don't listen to audiobooks so it's just those two there i'm glad i read mostly physical because getting my physical TBR down is important to me at the moment. I think in previous years I've like, oh, I should read some of my Kindle books, but at the moment I'm just like, I don't care about them, let's read these because I own them. So yeah, 115 books physically read. Moving on to how much I read each month. Here is the graph for that. As you can see, June, July is a bit lower than the rest. That's because that was kind of when I was a bit slumpier. Five books is still great, but that was when I was slumping. I can't remember liking a lot of them i didn't dislike them but when i was slumpy i read less and what i did read i feel like i griped at more than i maybe would have if i was in the reading mood so that's something as you see in october i read 18 that was the most that is because i reread the chew series which is 12 graphic novels so i didn't read 18 massive books 12 of them was chew <laughs> and yeah i pretty much sort of averaged between nine and 15 i guess 9 or 14 average between there i'm not going to go through every single one you can see them it's going to be boring if i just reel them all off but moving on we're sticking with the months but we're moving on to how many books i hold each month and this one i think is quite interesting as well so as you can see most month it's like five or six books that's a normal amount of haul for me one month i hold one book and as you can see from here the most books I got was in October and December, which makes a lot of sense because October is my birthday, December is Christmas. And also a little discrepancy in February, it says 10, which is a lot more than the other months. And that is because one of my friends used to work in a warehouse that, that held books. Every month they'd have like a sale thing or whatever, it was 50p. And 
in February you just brought me the six volumes of Scooby Apocalypse and I was like, oh, there you go, I got them for you because they were 50p each. So if that wasn't the case, it would have been four books that month. We're about halfway through, so here's a message from our sponsors and then just come back for more stats. Sticking with the hold books, I hold 84 books in 2020. At the point of doing all these calculations and stuff, I'd read 43%, so almost 50%. I've said in my goals for 2021, I want to read at least 50% of the books that I haul in 2021. So 43% isn't too bad, quite close. And then I personally spent £109.11p on books. A lot of the books I got were, like say, for birthday, for Christmas, I got a few random gifts. A few that I got free off Amazon Vine. So, £109.11p, not too bad for 84 books hauled. Moving on to the types of books, so the, not the genre, we'll do that in a minute, the age range. I read one book that was a children's, that was the unrated book. Six middle grade books, that one's kind of surprising, I feel like maybe I would have read more, but obviously it didn't happen in 2020. 81 YA books, makes sense, I read a lot of YA five new adult books and 45 adult books so it's it's a nice nice selection like i said i thought i would have read more middle grade because i quite like middle grade but obviously i must have read probably a couple of rick road and books and maybe a few others but there we go moving on to genres so this one always has more numbers than the actual books i've read because i count graphic novel and manga as individual things but also put them in whatever genre they go in as well. So as you can see I read the most contemporary which makes sense. I like contemporary. It's quicker to read. If I'm reading a fancy it probably takes a bit longer so I don't read as many even though that's my second most read genre. Obviously you can see here that graphic novel is higher than fantasy but like I said that's just in with the genres but they're also put in their own actual genre. The mystery one looks high, 20. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure I put two in mystery because it's a detective and they're trying to figure out why stuff's happening. And that's 12 already, so I don't really read that much mystery, but I wasn't sure where to put two, so I'm pretty sure I put it in mystery. And then another interesting one is poetry, four. I know it's not very high for most people, or a lot of people, or some people, but it's quite high for me. I think three of them books were books written in verse and one of them was an actual poetry book. I also read eight non-fiction, which is good. I don't really have a specific, oh, I want to read this many non-fictions, but you know, eight is a nice, nice number. So 81 of the books I read were part of a series and 57 were standalones. Those 57 were probably mostly contemporary or non-fiction, so that's where they live. I also made a little bit of a graph for the year that the books were published in. This one, a couple of interesting facts. The first one is that Pretty much all of the books I read were from like 2000 onwards. Only two books were published before then. One in 1993 and one in 1981. So pretty, pretty modern reads in 2020. But then again, I don't read classics anyway. But sometimes I read books from like the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. So that's quite interesting. And the second interesting thing is how many books I read that were actually published in 2020. This one was quite shocking when I saw it. So I read 22 books that came out in 2020 and normally I'm not a new release sort of person. So when I saw that I was like, what? I actually had to go back and look in my spreadsheet and be like, okay, let me look through this because I feel like that's wrong. But yes, I did read 22 books that came out in 2020. A couple of those books were ARCs. I also had a few books that probably got for my birthday or Christmas, that sort of thing. So yeah, I thought that was quite interesting because it's not normally something I do. 21 of the books I read were rereads as well, just throwing that one in there. I don't really have a, a graph to show that. 21 out of 189. Yes. Moving on to gender. This one is not definite. It's hard to just like try and Google and search for stuff. But from what I can gather, 54 of the books I read were by female authors, 44 were by male, 35 were by multiple, so that's mostly at graphic novels and manga because there'll be an artist and a writer and a colorist and all that so 35 were multiple 
and five were non-binary. A few little points, I did put trans in male or female depending on who they are because they are male or female. Just because they're a trans male or a trans female, I still put them in them categories. And also one of the books in the non-binary one was The Secret Barrister, which is by Anonymous, so you don't know who the person is, so I put it in non-binary. Moving on to race, this one I didn't go into very deeply because sometimes it's hard to figure out where to categorise people and put into boxes. So I've just gone white, not white, both and unknown. So for white I read 86 authors, I read 29, for both I read 19, and unknown I read 4. So 12 of those boths is true because John Lehman, Rob Guillory, and I can remember at least two of the unknown, one of them again, The Secret Barrister, it's somebody that's just anonymous, and another one is a comic that I read on Tapas, the author is unknown, I can't remember what the other two are but yeah. I'm sure the other ones in both that are not chew are probably also graphic novels because multiple people into the pot create the thing. And that wraps up all of my stats for 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun to look into and create. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know down below any words, thoughts, feelings, things, say stuff. And if this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of the others. And if you continue to enjoy, then please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.